Right now, at this very moment, there are folks on the streets dealing with shootings and drive-bys. A neglect of people in our community that has been overlooked. At the center, those are the youth that we work with. That's where the support is truly needed. Projects like this, that don't rise and fall based on what's happening in the subcommittee of the subcommittee of Congress, projects like this, uh, that are not dependent on the 24-hour the, 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 the news cycle or cable TV, that are just dependent on real people who refuse to be beat down, who refuse to give up on each other, who refuse to quit. That's the real basis of a movement for hope and change. The need for us here is not how it's been narrowly defined by those with privilege. It's not just about composting and recycling and using eco-friendly products. It's about an ecosystem of justice. off the streets. We aspire to create fundamentally new economic opportunities and change ultimately the cultural dialogue around the root issues that are causing all the problems that we're impacted by. The only way that we're going to succeed in this economic climate is to work together. Everyone has a right to livelihood, everyone has a right to access healthy food, and everyone has a right to housing in non-toxic environments. And that's what we're talking about here.